Hey guys, Stingray Steve, and we're gonna do an update on Epi Premium Pinatum Barragata. So let's turn the camera around and take a look. Okay, guys. This is uh, the mother plant. I've had it since, uh, oh, the early part of the winter. And uh, there's a nice new leaf. And I've, I've got these big leaves on it. And it really looks nice. Look at that leaf. Okay, and uh, there's a whole bunch of branches coming out. Okay, so, and this is one of the branches I took off and put in the water, and at the time, this is the, how big the leaves were, like that. And uh, it climbed up this, piece of wood I had in my backyard and as you can see the roots go right into the wood. It's actually expanding the wood right now over here and uh, it kept going up and up and uh, it's in the wood over there again rooted inside the wood and and this was a cutting and now just got this new leaf extraordinary and this was the leaf before it and it's doing very well okay so now uh, I'm going to show you another way I propagate. I uh, I stuck this one in the ground, and it just started getting long. So it's been about a week, and uh, I I had this little dish, and it's got a hole in it for drainage, and. Uh, I put the branch into the ground and I'm holding it down with two rocks and it's going to be like right here it's going to root deep right into the soil here and uh, in another week or so I'm going to cut it around about right there and you can see I already have a node right here and it's uh, right behind that leaf. See the node? Okay, so we'll have a, a branch coming out here and another one over here as soon as I cut it. So, uh, look at this new leaf unfurling here. Wow. And it has fenestrations. So that new leaf is going to be spectacular. So I decided I'll show you what I'm going to do. Since this uh, Brazil is doing so nicely under uh, the shade of these two palm trees. And uh, it's not total shade, but you can see a little sun's getting through, but because it's not exactly baking in it, these, uh, this uh, philodendron in Brazil is, look, it's getting some nice big leaves. And uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, I dug a little hole and I got a little bit bigger pot and uh, the reason why I'm not putting it directly into the ground because it's a very sandy soil and also if it rains a lot if it floods over here I'm gonna take the plant out so I have options 
of moving it and taking a whole bunch of cuttings off of this tree and branches and selling them or whatever and uh, without destroying uh, most of the root system. Now some roots will get through that hole. So uh, let me show you what I'm going to do. Okay guys, I'm back. Uh, I don't know if you could see me, but you can see the plant. So I've got some Miracle Grow potting mix. And uh, this has been doing good for me because it holds a lot of moisture. So we're gonna put a couple of handfuls and I didn't want to go to such a large pot because we might drown the roots. So, uh, let's see. Oh, that looks good. Okay, so, I'm going to take it out carefully. Oh, it's coming easy. Okay. And... You can see, look at that root system, and uh, wow, I don't want to lose any dirt. Look at, look at the size of that root right there. Okay, now I want to face it so the newest leaves are facing out, and what I'm going to do is tilt it so it, it kind of climbs. It's on its way, so... We're going to tilt it so it keeps climbing. Okay, so we have this wood here leaning against the palm tree. And uh, once it grows a little bit more, it'll be able to root right into the palm trees. And I have a lot of vines and stuff growing out of the pine trees. And when I clean them up, I removed all the roots from the bottom and they're still alive. They still get moisture out of it. It's like a very absorbent, this material here inside the, in, from the palm trees. Look at that. Okay. So we're going to add more soil. And, uh, I wanted to go up palm tree, so that's why I'm not going to have it in the middle because there'll be, once it starts climbing, it won't, the wind won't mess up, the, it'll go right up it with no problems because if it had to travel like six or seven inches, it'll take longer and there's more chances that something could go wrong like if it's a windy day or but we'll just have it go right into the tree okay and I'm doing this by hand because I want to pack it in good and I don't want to damage any of those outside roots. Okay. And like I said, if I'm not satisfied with how it's growing here or if it rains too much and it floods out I could always take the plant out and start somewhere else so this is just you have to experiment with these plants uh, they may grow real good in one part of your yard and uh, terribly in another part so um, I'm only going by the uh, Brazil that's over here, which is not burning and has really nice leaves. It also has like a 
like a yellow variegation so I think it'll do good here so now we're just gonna put some of the sand around it from the, and uh, we could even throw some sand in it from so it it knows the plant will get a little bit of the uh, guard, the real soil. And okay, so now we're going to give it a good wetting. And uh, I'm going to let it absorb in. And uh, we didn't do any root damage, so. I'm only doing this because the, the soil in the bag was very dry. Okay. And there you have it. So, uh, let me get another angle. So, we'll see how it does. And you can see there's a little node right there traveling up. So it's rooted into this branch. So all we got to do is uh, wait a couple of weeks and, and we'll, uh, we'll give you a progress report. But I think, uh, I think it's going to take over this palm. And uh, that's my, uh, my goal. I want to have the giant Epi Premium leaves, and as you can see, we're on our way. So please comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll keep you updated. Bye. Well, guys, it's been uh, about three weeks, and I just wanted to show you how, where I've gotten with my uh, Epi Premiums. Uh, this is the one I put on a pole, and uh, look look at these new leaves I'm getting. It's doing great, and uh, this is the other one, and uh, it's doing great. Now uh, the one that I propagated that was in this little pot this is it okay and uh since then uh this leaf unfurled and i got another one now with a big striation there and half moon and uh i transplanted it uh this one here I uh, had a long aerial root, so I just stuck it in the ground for a few days and it seems to have rooted immediately almost, so I, I cut it and uh, look at the, uh, look at the colors in the stem here, so immediately we got this popped out. So now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six plants here. And uh, I'm gonna show you the one I put near the tree. And uh, remember, we put it in a pot and uh, I got this huge leaf unfurling. And just look what happened to it. Uh, Look at the size of this leaf. Is that a beauty? And look look at this one. And uh, you could see if you go down here to the bottom how small the leaves were in the beginning. And uh, and uh, now look at it. Um, I mean, this is all new growth here, 
and and this leaf's going to be amazing i see a lot of white in it and it's got a big hole right there i see the the holes so that leaf's going to be amazing so if you want to see a video when it climbs up the tree write it down in the comments but as you can see it um it's rooted into the stake I got in, in the pot and it's about to go up the palm. So I'll do another video when it goes up the palm, but wow. Look at the size of that leaf. So please like and subscribe and uh, we'll do more on my Epic Premiums. Take care guys.